hi there the motorboat sound uh, or purring that you can hear is the air rushing into the wood burner and uh, air is being drawn into the fire because the hot gases are rising up the flue they're being drawn in and they expand so violently that they can't get out of the chimney very easily so they simply blow back out of the vents and uh, these two vents at the front of the fire are where the air comes in and you can see quite clearly that under certain conditions uh, the, the flames are blown back out wouldn't normally run the fire like this but I just wanted you to see the effect um, I've made a, a video, the very first video that I made, uh, that shows how uh, the Stirling engine works and uh, what's inside a Stirling engine, so do have a look at that. I'll put a link in the comments box with this video. And um, Next I'm going to show you what happens when the air is cooled, so stick with this video, but then uh, please have a look at the uh, the other video that I've just mentioned because I do show you what's inside a Stirling engine and uh, how I've made one. Okay we're talking about the Stirling effect and uh, that is uh, the air expands when it gets hot but it also contracts when it gets cold. This is the door of uh, our uh, domestic freezer here and uh, this little device uh, when I pull it it has a, a marker and indicator there and it's it's a spring balance yeah uh, it's measuring pounds on the outside and kilograms around the inner edge and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, uh, measure how much force is needed to open the door door hasn't been open for a, a little while so the air in there should all be uniformly cool uh, but it will have equalized because of little gaps around the edge here so air will have got in so the only force that I'm pulling with this will be the magnetic force of the, uh, the little magnetic seal so we'll, we'll just measure that I'll just hook that in there I'll get this so as we can see it there and I'll pull send the door flying and uh, Okay, so that pull is uh, 11 pound there. Yeah, I'll just set that back to zero. Now, what I'm going to do is open the door and uh, admit some uh, air. And uh, now, what I'm going to do is close that. The air will freeze or, or chill. And now, There you go, I'm reading uh, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm reading nearly 14 pounds. So it was 10 pounds before, now it's 14 pounds. And the only difference is uh, the fact that the air has been cooled and when it's cooled, it's contracted. And that's the, uh, if you like, the negative go inside of the Stirling cycle. Um, so you've seen how the, um, air expands in the fire and this is a good demonstration of uh, how it uh, contracts in uh, a cold condition uh, so go to your freezer and open the door and then next time you open it it sh should be harder to open it simply because the air has rushed in a uh, nice warm air fully expanded it, it's it's gone into the freezer and then uh, when you've closed it look you see closing I'll zoom in on that I'll do that one more time so when I when I close the door you just watch the seal I'll, I'll close it see the door is carrying on moving in hope you can get that on there and that is the air 
contracting and then eventually when it all unifies and the, um, the, the air seeps in the tiny gaps it will come back out. Zoom out. Um, when you close your freezer door and then you want to open it immediately you should notice it's harder to open the second time. If it isn't it means you've got a, an air leak um, and it's, it's worth just checking the seals on your freezer. Um, anyway I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.